Today we've been uh, searching 29 addresses, we've made a number of arrests. This has been particularly focused on uh, illegal money lending um, because we know that creates a lot of fear and intimidation. It builds on some of the local operations we've had like Gulf and uh, uh, operations in Stockport and in Salford. Uh, so it's building upon that but it's saying that there are certain groups that go across borough and divisional boundaries um, and that we need to attack at the greater Manchester level. So it's using the great expertise we have in, in GMP uh, in dealing with organised crime but also recognising that often it can be other agencies, the benefits agencies, the tax authorities, environment agency which often have a lot of information about people that are in organised crime groups but also have powers which can also be used to disrupt these groups. We've got to be clear that this is going to be a long-term operation uh, that we're looking to you know, continue with, with our cooperation with other agencies, really build this into the way that we work with the councils across Greater Manchester uh, because we know this is a very long-term problem and it's going to take probably a lot of work by the force before we create a tipping point where more local people say this is not acceptable in our area uh, and are more willing to come forward and give us information and act as witnesses. We are absolutely determined and this is going to be a long-term game. This is not about one day's raids. It is about a long-term initiative and a long-term commitment that we've got with a whole range of agencies across Greater Manchester uh, to disrupt organised crime um, and to eradicate the pernicious impact it has across our local area.